Hello everyone, this is Lucas with the Staten Friction Drive with a Solo Type 142 two-stroke engine. This is a motorized bicycle kit that I ordered from Staten Inc. in the United States. And I live in Canada and I must say the price point on this bike kit from the United States was ridiculous. All in all in, I think I paid 530 something Canadian for this. And I was choked. Like, they advertise on their site that it's only like 237 or something like that. But by the time you get into shipping, the import fees, and all this other stuff, you're running at 537 from Stanton and then another 30 bucks from Border Services. So, yeah, it's an expensive deal. Um, I've noticed on Amazon that they have some cheaper friction drive kits out there now. I haven't tried one yet. I wanted the original Staten drive because it is made in America and comes with the Solo made in Germany two-stroke engine. Um, in comparison with the Chinese uh, motorized bicycle kits, um, this doesn't have as much power. Um, it doesn't have as much acceleration, so it's slow off the get-go, and top speed's probably going to max out around 40k on the 142. And this is the biggest two-stroke that they were selling at the time when I bought this off of Staten Inc. So, yeah, I mean, the price point isn't on, as far as I'm concerned. Not comparable to when they're selling the ones on uh, Amazon. I saw they're like 180 bucks, But you probably have to replace all the bolts and everything that come with it. Because if they're anything like the Chinese kits, you buy all the hardware with them's junk, right? So, you'll have to do that. But, I don't know. Um, am I happy with what I got? Yeah, um, it's a really good kit. Um, you can feel it when you ride. It doesn't feel janky or overpowered or anything like that. It doesn't shake um, like the Chinese kits do. And um, because it's not overpowered, I really didn't have to beef up the brakes on this. This is just a Huffy, Huffy Capital I got from Walmart. And um, I'm going to do a couple little things to it. I'll probably put some shock forks on it and some front brakes. But so far with the power of this engine and the fact that I have a roller in constant contact with the back tire uh, does slow it down a little bit when I drop off the acceleration. So braking hasn't been a problem so far. Um, in regards to the engine, I've heard a lot of people talk trash about this solo engine and this kit on YouTube. And I just wanted to show everybody something here without even depressing the decompression valve. And I'm in Vegreville right now. It's at the end of March and we're still minus five. And I just wanted to show everybody how easy this thing is to start. Yeah, like very easy. So, I mean, there's no, no problem starting this engine. I saw guys that uh, were having a hell of a time trying to turn it over and all this stuff. One problem I did encounter when I was putting this together, and this is just a heads up for anybody, is these two wires that come off the motor. They do not label which one is ground and which one should be connected to your kill switch up here. Um, what I did was, is I hooked the motor up and everything. I got the wires back here to where the bullet connectors are. I started the motor and then I just, you know, fed the wires into the connectors and played with the kill switch until I figured it out and then wired everything together. And so far so good. And as you can see, the kill switch shuts it off really easy. Um, yeah, all in all, I'm happy. The price point, I'm not happy. Um, if you can get a cheaper one, get a cheaper one. Maybe you get your own motor and just order the, uh, the drive kit itself. But I mean... Yeah, I'm happy. I mean, it works, right? Um, it's another motorized bicycle for my, uh, you know, armada that I'll be building here soon. And um, in comparison to the Chinese kit, um, it's not the same animal. So it's really hard to compare that um, to the same animal. Uh, this doesn't seem to work so good in the rain, I'm told. Probably doesn't work good in the snow. I've been bombing it around with ice on the roads and everything else here, but the roads are fairly dry so i'm not going through any water or anything like that but yeah so far it's been good and reliably starts and yeah it's not too loud i'm finding the solo motor is actually really really quiet comparably to the chinese kits as well 
um, it seems to work out pretty well. Um, just to show my configuration on the back here of how I've got my um, my locking assembly here at the back. So you got your nut, your spacer in between, uh, and your other two spacers, and then the locking nut on the end. I haven't had a problem setting my friction tension against my tire. I seem to have got that the first shot. Other people say that you have some problems with that. Um, you do have to play around with it a, a bit in order to get it to fit the bike that you put it on properly, but there are instructions to put this together on Stat and Inc., and it's a no-brainer. It, it only took, I think, five tools to put this together. I used... Two crescent wrenches, some wire cutters, some wire strippers, and a number 10 wrench just to snug up these bolts right here uh, to the drive itself. Besides that, I didn't have to do too much. Um, had to patch a little bit of extra wire in the kill switch. Not impressed with that considering the price point of the bike. Maybe should have thrown some extra wire in there, Staten. Yeah, I think so. And another thing that you should be throwing in the kit is electrical tape because I did have to use a, a roll of electrical tape in order to connect the wires and everything else. They did put zip ties for the throttle cable and all that other kind of stuff, but I don't know. I don't like this throttle. I'm going to be honest. The lever throttle, I don't like it, but I'm used to the twist throttle on a motorized bicycle. I found myself doing one of these when I was meaning to do one of these, and I found myself doing one of these when I was trying to stop the bike. So not really the best configuration, but it does work. I mean, you know. Um, yeah, so... This is the Staten Friction Drive Motorized Bicycle Kit. Um, you can get this from Staten Inc. I'll put the link in the description below. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget our Patreon down below, man.